Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. Well, it's a 4 3 3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. Real chance! And getting across to stop it. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, not great on the accuracy front. Goal kick here. Herman Cano. Oh, a nice looking pass. And a goal! Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. A real opening now. Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? He's driven in the corner. Well, he was under a bit of pressure, but he'll feel he should have done a bit better with the header. Well, possibilities in the centre. Can he find the net? And the keeper more than equal to it. Well, a corner it is, and they know they've got to be opportunistic at this stage of the game. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, no end product. And there goes the final whistle. It's a victory for the visitors in the first leg of this tie. Well, I thought they deserved to win, but it was a really tight game. They just had that touch more quality when it mattered. And I would still fancy them to go through in the second leg. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him.